going into hot labs to kill all of her babies because they are corrupted. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. She's told us to do it. Yeah. Got to kill your kids. We've got Yaroslav Tartakovsky. How are you doing, Yaroslav? Are you here to secure the situation? Are you all right? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? Oh, what's another one? Uh, you let them loose? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Ragnar's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. This is how they brought the Ragnar back. Egg was ancient. A thousand year old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. Yeah, we spoke to that it. That it survived the centuries. Poor thing. This is miraculous. Yeah. Binary Helix planned to clone Ragnar, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Ragnar, it is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. So they uplifted the Krogan and curb stomped them into extinction. <laughs> Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. So we can save them? Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry. No, you can't. But this will not work. These Rachni are They're beyond safe. Though. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. <laughs> I am thinking that the neutron purge must be set off. Neutron I'm not purge. familiar with the purge system. It creates burst of neutron radiation, kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Give us a minute. <laughs> Once the purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> Mother always say I would meet a bad end. Well, maybe you shouldn't clone ancient extinct insect species to cr try and create a controllable clone army. Yeah, don't set the. Uh, do you learn job. nothing from Shreve? Uh, you don't know who Shreve is, do you? No. Shreve Palpatine. His real name is like Shreve or something. All right. Yes. We don't. We don't need Darth Sidious. Uh, so here's Mira, and that's about it. That's the only thing that's uh, down here. Okay, what's Mira got to say? Mira's gonna be like, should you be here? And I'm, I'm a spectre, motherfucker. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry, the sensor network is too damaged to provide an accurate count. Give me your best guess. Guessing is beyond my design parameters, <laughs> Commander. Damn VI. Are there any survivors in here? Lady Benezia, an executive secretary of Binary Helix, is on the operations deck. No. There are no other living crew members within the lab structure. What's the status of the facility? Containment breach in laboratory pod Gamma. The neutron purge system is functional, but has not been armed. I need information on the neutron purge. The neutron purge is a failsafe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. So, what exactly does this thing do? <laughs> the purge is a neutron burst weapon. Two volumes of fissionable materials are brought together to form a critical mass. Most of the energy is released in the form of high-speed neutrons. This radiation is instantly lethal to any known form of life within 500 meters. We would be wise to avoid touching any controls without reading the instructions. That is advisable for all systems within this facility. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code oh, authorization. 
mumble something. Wait for it, wait for it. Uh, six semper turbo. <laughs> <laughs> That is not the correct code. Please report to security for arrest and interrogation. Klaatu Verata Nikto. Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, or any executive well, we officer of Yaroslav. Binary Helix. Yeah. We're moving on. Logging you out, Commander. We just spoke to Yaroslav. You didn't give yeah. me the code, motherfucker. Say hi to my fully automatic... Sh oh, he won't let me shoot it. I am feeling not so well. How do I trigger the purge? How do we set off the purge? Armin controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Mira the start. Oh dear. Hostile contact. No shit. <laughs> Oh dear. Why couldn't we have done that in the cutscene? Think we got him, Commander. Well, you can get the purge code. And now, I think you have to run out. I don't remember if it teleports you out and you get a cutscene or if you have to run out. Tally's got some pretty. What are you doing that's letting you do that? Pretty healthy. Uh, no, she's got some health regeneration. Yeah, she's got a health regeneration thing going on. Or well, Liara isn't, whereas Tally is slowly filling up. It's alright, uh, it's alright. It doesn't matter, we're about to blow this popsicle stand. Online, how can I help you? Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input, 875-020-079. Code Omega, local execution. Verify. Code Omega execution Run. in 120 seconds. Thank it. Oh, you got to find your way out as well. Now we're going to book it. Uh, carnage. Uh. I'm just running. I'm bleeding out. Oh. Nearly. Oh. oh, nearly. I hate this bit. I've always hated this bit because there's out. what? There's too many Rachni to fight. You literally have to book it. There's loads of them. Yeah, it's it's an infinite swarm of Rachni. Fucking sucks. <laughs> you just used three meta gel then. We made it. Okay. Death of a matriarch. You've defeated the matriarch and eliminated the Rachna in the hot labs. Depart rift station via the passenger tram that you arrived in. Okay. Yeah, just walk out now. I mean, you could have done that at any point. Alright. But we did it properly. We did it when we resolved everything else. Yeah. God, I hate doing that. That's really bad on insanity. <laughs> it's really bad. You want uh, Liara and I think Rex. But they have to be on the lift with you as well, is the thing, to leave. Well, there you get out. Okay, we're just stood up here now. Tram station. Right. Button. Uh, now we're stood over here. There we go. We neutron... won't see another tram like this till Mass Effect 3. We've neutron bombed the labs. Yep. Uh, that's I'm killed. sure the Rachni won't be a problem again. Oh, apart from the Queen, hopefully she got away. Uh, she's good, but she does get enslaved by the Reapers, and they do make Rachni Reapers out of her. But you can free her, and Grunt will die to save her. Unless he was loyal in Mass Effect 2. <laughs> in which case, he just gets really hungry. Oh, all right. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? Uh, not so fast. The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? Alright, Space Racist. Calm down. 
We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. It's okay. okay. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Yep. Yeah. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? Shush, Separatus. They won't. This Queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Huh, is that it? Well, because... A half-hearted bollocking. Well, no, because what we've got and what we've had this entire time is Verma. <laughs> Which is, that's the last plot point before the end. This is when you have to decide genuinely, you are out of time now. I will goddamn do my best to keep the Solarian alive so we can hold the line. But you have to decide whether you save Caden or Ashley. You can't oh. save both. They specifically made it so you couldn't save both. You have to make so you'd have to make a hard call. Headache, man. I know oh, I know in Mass choices. Effect 2 you can get everyone out alive you and can, it's really yeah. fun and actually beautiful when you pull it off and you get special cutscenes and yeah. yeah, you will salute me, motherfucker. But in in uh in Mass Effect I'll show you where it is actually. We can do it now. If you open this door, the Normandy SR2 does have a slightly different layout, but if you go down to the uh, crew quarters where this display is here, which is at the moment is displaying our three objectives, this turns into a memorial wall and it will have the name of everyone you got killed across oh. the entire trilogy and it'll update throughout the game. So like Morden will show up and Rex oh, and Ashley and Caden no, and no. everyone you didn't save all on the suicide shame. mission all and all the, the crew that got liquefied. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Shepard goes shame. on it on the end if Shepard dies as well. Yeah. But that depends on what ending you pick. We pop down here and see if anyone's got anything to say. Uh, we've also got to pop into the like, med bay and grab some more medigel. Yeah, we lock that up. Well, that was a really shitty ambush that I used to think was impossible on Insanity. Mm. But that's because I went in there with, I think, Rex and Garrus, so I had no crowd control. But if you dump a singularity in the right place, you can get through that and spam medigel, you can get through that quite easily. Looking for supplies? Yes, yeah. I am actually. Got Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. I want master Spectre gear. Uh, more lights. No, he hasn't got any. He's not. He's not. Uh, see, you want HMWSG, but you want it 10, uh, which is the master Spectre gear. But I don't know if it shows up unless you're on um, New Game Plus. Hey, Garrus. Commander. I wanted to. Goodbye. I don't have oh. time for that. <laughs> Goodbye, Commander. If you're not going to talk, I'm not going to talk. Hey, Ashley. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk one on one? Yeah. I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't. Yeah, no Dismissed one's going to say Sorry. anything because we've, we've been on this. You need to move the plot on for quite Shepherd. a while. Yeah. Um, Rex. But we will Rex pop Shepherd. into the. Uh, Rex. Uh, uh, we'll pop in and just shake the engine. See, see Adams and Tally. How you doing? He quits, and then he comes back in Mass Effect 3. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? No. See you later. I'm just going to stand here and talk about plot points in Mass Effect 2 that get dropped in Mass Effect 3 because there's a different writer. So we're going to spend all of Mass Effect 2 talking about dark energy, and it's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> about right. The original thing was they were going to have to destroy all the relays and destroy all their technology because it all runs on the Mass Effect, which is dark energy, which was artificially aging stars. And they were going to have to try and start again from scratch with no tech that ran on the Mass Effect thing. All right. Which is a really cool, like, circle. It's a good idea. Yeah, uh, but that writer stopped working on it. So <laughs> they uh, instead we got, yo, dude, I hope you don't like robots. So I made some robots to kill you every 10,000 years so you won't get killed by robots. You are just going to sit here and do a romance thing, aren't you? Gonna try. Your mum died. If you died. are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Oh, I'm glad she's got some it. lines. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was, but she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. 
Well, we get to meet your dad in Mass Effect 2, and again, she gets to meet her dad in Mass Effect 3. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, find out that her intelligence, Liara's granddad is a Krogan. Strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. She means that, too. She's uh, She will make it all the way up to the final cutscene before you do the final bit. And only then can she die. All right. I'm talking about in the final game. Okay. And she's, she's the only character from here, apart from Anderson and Hackett, that show up in Mass Effect Andromeda. All right. She sends a message. When the Reaper War starts. Oh yeah, you said yeah. 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 I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. I should go. I've got to go and set us up on the last mission now. It's not the last mission, but it's the. Oh, you got anything to say, headache, Caden? Man. <laughs> I love how you call him Headache Boy too. Uh, he's having a headache. Turn around. Speak. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can yeah. count on everyone to do their duty. We'll talk another time. They're all on their penultimate dialogue, so their dialogue's not going to update until Rex, Ashley, or Caden die. We're going to keep Rex alive, but we will lose Ashley or Caden, but their dialogue will not update I don't know. until that mission's the happened. Let's see the stats for them, too. Huh? Let's see the stats for them, too. Um, Caden's a biotic, Ashley's a soldier. Uh... You're an engineer, so both of them are good. You won't have them in Mass Effect 2. They will be a squad mate at the start of Mass Effect 3. And then you will either have to kill them or you can re-recruit them depending on how you've interacted with them across the trilogy. Uh, it's whether they trust Adina or you. I, why did I go in the elevator? You spoon! I am wandering around the Normandy. I'm, I'm, I'm running a thing in my head where I'm like, I want to fly to the Citadel just to see if Hackett has another message for me, for any other missions, it. but I'm almost 100% certain at this point we've done everything. I'll well, try it. We've got nothing to lose, have we? Five minutes. Do, 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 hey, on. Presley. Yes, Commander? No. Carry on, Presley. Other person, yes, sir. Only other person to talk to is Joker. Yeah, tell you all about his flight history. It's sad. His uh, sister gets turned into a husk in Mass Effect 3. Boy, am I glad to be off of Novaria. I don't know which was worse, the cold or the corporations. One will freeze your balls off, and the other will sell them out from under you. With all due respect, man. <laughs> I have to go. All right, see you. Nice bit of dialogue, Joker. Seth Green did a really good job as Joker. Uh, there's, there's some really, really good acting in this game. I mean, it makes sense. They're just taking all of the... Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's just shitty collections, and none of them matter. Uh, okay. They're not ones that carry over. They won't be in the save file. I know. Trust me, I've played with Mass Effect save files enough. Okay, in that case, I want to fly to uh, Citadel, which is in Serpent. And travel to Widow. And we'll see if Admiral Hackett calls us. Gives us any more. Uh, other than that, we are kind of in. It's not end game. There's about five missions, but it's we've done all the other content because we front loaded it. So now is when you would traditionally. Oh shit! The game's going to end. Let's go explore some planets. But we did that. We've done that before. I made sure you got it all out of the way, so oh, it was a solid plot. Around. You stretch it. Yeah. That like that. That doggo. Right, we'll land, see if they've got anything to say, and then we'll disembark straight away. Uh, it gets better in Mass Effect 2 because you have Omega and all the pirates and shit, which is cool. Um, and you have Aria. Okay, they had nothing to say, unfortunately. So that's it. So we need to go to Vermeer. So you need to start thinking about making your choice, Bobbit. I can't help you here. It's not my playthrough. 
Uh, if it, it, although if it does help, I usually flip a coin. <laughs> uh, I'm on this this very channel that we uh, are on now. I am. There is an archived live stream. Uh, I either used to, back when we had internet properly, and I could stream, I either used to let my stream decide, or I used to flip a coin. Alright. <coughs> uh, I think we'll probably uh, sacrifice... Whoever it is, you won't get them at all in Mass Effect 2, so they don't come back to Mass Effect 3. And then they become the second human spectre. Yeah. Well, that's a bit worrying. Definitely not a job for an age. Nah. Neither choice is good. Oh, scanner planets. Is it just Hawk? Is there not another... Wow, there's really not anything else in Century Omega. Okay. Jaffle. It's a death world. <laughs> Got a lot of those, aren't you wait till we get to Andromeda and there's only like four planets. It's so disappointing. Because they have this huge, wonderfully modelled galaxy map and there's like four planets. And it's desert, radioactive desert, ice world, death world. And then you get another planet at the end, but you never get to explore it because that's where the game ends. It ends with them getting their new colony on a Dyson Sphere. Oh, right. Vermeer. Yeah, no Vermeer is a lush yes. frontier world, Single ideal world. for colonization by carbon-based species. Its vast seas and orbital position on the inner life zone have created a... Oh, God, I'm not looking forward to this. Do you remember he gets on his hover sled and he keeps shooting you and sending in for the Krogan clones? Yeah, it's fucking shit. Anyway, pirates, it's not very nice to be. If you wanted to build a secret lab somewhere, this is the place you'd do it. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Vermeer it is. And we've got nowhere else to... You've got nowhere none else of, to go, None Bob. of those planets, none of them have the option to scan. No, nope. you've done everything. You've literally done everything. You must have missed those two bits somewhere else. So who do you want to take to them? Well, we've You're got fighting Geth and Krogan. Yes, now, traditionally, you lose two squad mates on this planet, either Ashley or Caden and Rex, but you will not be losing Rex. No. So you can take anyone you want. I don't mind. It will, we'll have to change several times. So we're fighting Geth and Krogan. Krogan and Krogan is good. Uh, Garrus is a good choice, because he's got overload and shit. Yeah. Okay. And anyone else you want. I mean... <laughs> I'm, I'm easy. You're easy. You don't mind. Ah, uh, well, okay. We will take Rex. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them up. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. That was the cutscene they used to show off that they'd remastered Got a it. Clean drop, Commander. Good job, Joker. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joker, go out. So, and then that's when you can, that's your second point. So we've got a big fucking long thing to get to the Solarians. Big long road. As a sort of an introduction. So, Garrus has two points. I would put them in electronics so we can get advanced overload. And I guess decryption. And Rex has two points. Let's just put it into master overkill. Might be helpful. All overkill does is it just like delays the cooldown. We are not going to make max level, weirdly. We're only level 26. Okay. I so thought we'd make... Is, what about their kit? Is that the right kit? Back down. You can give him the brawler if you want, but I can't see when he'd ever be using the... Uh... Yeah, 
No, I'm not going to give him shit stuff. I will, however, put some mobs on. Have some Rex is on. Yeah, he's good. Right. This is it, boys and girls. This is the mission that sorts the uh, men from the boys. Yeah. And we are going to be attempting to hold the line and keep a certain Solarian alive, because he will come through for you in Mass Effect 3 in a pretty big way. Uh, there are a million geth over there. Wouldn't, wouldn't worry about it. Look at the water! God damn! Maybe you get over there, but don't worry about it. This is it. You're running out of content. I don't want to run out of content. You've got to take the AA towers out. Yep, you've got to destroy the flyers as well, otherwise he will die. There's a hidden tracker on this one. It's mean. You got the natives. They're not hostile though. They're just doing his thing. They're not hostile. They're just your friendly local space bugs. And we uh I don't even think you get XP for killing them. Nope. <laughs> oh, that's not a very good spec thing to I can do what I want, I'm a spec. Yeah. Right. right, here we go. Oh, Drones! Yeah. Remembering this one now. Oh, that's, that's not friend. an enemy. Friend. friend. It's not my friend. It's a space spider. Burbs! In 4K! We're doing this in 4K! It is. Rocket troopers. Yeah. Ow, ow. Thanks, uh -oh. friend. Where you at? <laughs> Alright, goodbye. Two left. Uh, okay. Friends. Uh, it's not going to punish you for killing these space miners. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't want you to kill a space miner. Yeah, go go. Oh, oh. It's all right. We're not on insanity. You're supposed to be racing through this as a big like thing, but. Corner. Take corner, it nice and corner, low ground. Nice and casual. There's an ambush. Oh! You son of a bitch. Another one. Somewhere behind you. Apparently they didn't want to engage. Tough. Be fair, it's not their fault, they're indoctrinated. You leveled up! We 
leveled up. There's about five or six in there, because you have to go up and clear it out to open the gates one by one. Are you remembering it now? Yeah. So you drive up and then you have to... Uh, I see you taking cover. They're all in that fucking door, so you can't pre-kill them. I think that's either a turret or a Colossus, I can't remember. There we go. We've got to go in this gatehouse first, but I'd rather... Yeah, you're not going to let me do anything until I go up there. Alright, okay, we'll go up here. Park it on the grass. Park it on the grass? Right. This is it. Yeah. I am Erd Not Rex and this is my planet. So if you come over here, you can kind of take a looky loo, but you you know, you have to go around the corners. Yeah. It's still a third person Unreal Engine game. Weapons lock out, see if we've got any goodies. Uh, unless it's Master Spectre gear, I'm not interested. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. I'll take the Omni Jar though. Okay, now's where you wish you brought the arrow. We've got hoppers and snipers. Okay, I'm gonna hack. We need somebody to lift him, Garrus is getting shot in the back. Alright. Uh, sabotage. Overload. Yeah. Geth hoppers never show up again because they're shit. And I've got the out of Mass Effect book over there and they literally talk about how they wanted like a different elevation for every enemy. Yeah. No, dude. This was on an Xbox 360. You could not move the camera as fast as the hopper moved. Hurricane 10? Yeah, I'll take that. Tornado 9? No. Shredder Rounds 8? No, we're not really going to be worried about organics. Uh, hurricane... Uh, uh, uh. I don't want any of this. Convert it all. Hurricane 10? It's not as good as the Sokolov 7. Although, actually, I think it is. I think the Hurricane 10 actually... No. I was going to say it might fire faster. It doesn't. There's the Colossus. It's spawned now and it's, it's noticed us. And Garrus is having a go at it. What a champion. What an absolute yeah, fucking lad. legend. He will. He will. Yeah, he's going to sit. Look, look how much damage he's taken. He's literally trying to take on a Colossus with a sniper rifle. That's a good sniper rifle. It might be a good sniper rifle, but we've got a tank over here. Yeah, let's take it off with the tank. Let's kill the Colossus and then end the session. But now I don't know what red is. As always. They don't self-repair until Mass Effect 2, and then you only have to ever fight one that can. Uh, you can, can only ever have to fight one that can self-repair, but it's a boss fight. You have to do it on foot. But they've got friends. Ow! One down. Yeah. 
Saw it? Yeah, we went in. We had a gun. <laughs> 